Welcome to New Hampshire's Wild Side. I'm Christina Lupi. And I'm Mark Beauchene. We'll take you behind the scenes of the New Hampshire Fish and Game Department to learn more about the projects and people of your wildlife agency. We'll also give you tips and tactics to help you make the most of your time in New Hampshire's woods and waters. And along the way, we'll meet real people who love life outdoors. Now, let's discover more about New Hampshire's wild side. My name is Wes Reed. My family and I own and operate Rise and Shine Retrievers, located in Barnstead, New Hampshire. Coda, come. All right. We're a full service retrievers training facility. We offer everything from basic obedience all the way up to advanced retriever training. Go ahead up. My family's always had dogs. A friend got me interested in duck hunting back in the early 1980s, and I got tired of dragging the canoe out every time we shot a duck. So it wasn't too many seasons into it before I realized the value of a dog. Bella, come. They know they're training. One of my most frequently asked questions is, when do you start training? Oh God, yeah. Well, we tell people puppies go home at eight weeks of age. Twice. We tell people let, let the puppy get used to the house, let puppy uh, know what the cat Duly is, come. already smelled the couch, checked Duly out come. the footstool, uh, and then begin your training at about 10 weeks. Uh, that way, whatever, when you break out the retrieving toy, then it's completely new and exciting to the puppy. Okay, so what we're going to do here is, this is our Bella heel. This is what we consider a, a finished gun dog. I'm going to run Bella on a triple with a blind and what we call a diversion bird, Bella sit. Now a diversion bird is, let's say I'm out duck hunting, my dog is making a retrieve and I shoot another bird. The dog has to complete the retrieve before it goes after the second one that I shot. It's called a diversion bird. What we're going to run here is a triple retrieve. She'll get a diversion on the way back from the last bird down. And then over to the left, I've planted a bumper in the edge of the woods that she does not know is there. And I'll use a series of whistle and hand signals to get her there. Bella. Good girl, come. Heel. Heel. Release. Bella. Good girl, come. Good girl, come. Okay, now when she's coming back, this is gonna be the diversion. Bella, come. Sit. Release. Bella. Okay, now we're gonna run the blind retrieve which I have marked down here to the left by a little yellow ribbon down there, about 60, 70 yards. Bella, heel. Line, good, line, back. <laughs> Sit. Back. <laughs> Bella, over, over. Bella. Good girl, come. Heel. Sit. Release. Good girl, Bella, Bella. Good girl, come.
I tell people, don't go out and read one book on retriever training and expect you're gonna teach your dog. Uh, read three books, uh, watch four DVDs, uh, talk to you know seven different people. Everybody's gonna have a different way of doing things. But what you wanna do is, you wanna pick up on the consistencies. You know, everybody's gonna tell you that your dog needs to sit. Uh, when you get to teaching blind retrieves, everybody's gonna tell you that you need to do a T-drill. So I say pick up the consistencies and all of the training material that's out there, that's going to be the foundation. You know you need to do that because everybody tells you that it needs to be done. But everybody yeah. might have a different way of doing that. So Sit. find what works by for the dog. Okay, Not for you. Release find what works girl. for the dog. Yeah, and every, every dog is different. All right. Hey, puppies. Puppers. <laughs> pup, 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 puppers. Pup, 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 puppers. Come on, puppy. Go play. Come on. Come on. There are 365 days in a year. New Hampshire Fishing Game's six hatcheries are open all of them, raising fish that will become part of your next outdoor adventure. I'm going to grind my wild turkey and duck to add to my ground chicken. I always place my grinder attachment in the freezer overnight and this makes the process easier. I'm Denny Corvo, New England's Wild Chef. I'm going to exploit the versatility of wild game by making wild turducken burgers. It's easy and it's cool. To start, I'm gonna add some sea salt, probably a teaspoon or two. Then I'm gonna add some fresh ground pepper, about the same amount. I'm gonna take some of my roasted garlic powder, add about half a tablespoon to a tablespoon. It's all driven by your taste. I'm gonna add some air-dried shallots and that'll add a little sweetness. Then I'm gonna take some of my Tuscan blend, which has a little rosemary and other herbs in it. Then I'm gonna take my sagebrush blend, which has beautiful things like sage and thyme. Now we'll add an egg. We'll add some gluten-free breadcrumbs. We'll add some honey Dijon, probably about two to three tablespoons of that. Now here's the killer ingredient. I'm gonna add two or three tablespoons of duck fat, because we all know how lean wild game is, right? That's our fat ingredient. And then I'm gonna just dive in and start to add this mixture together and get everything all well incorporated. 
Ultimately, what you want is a mixture that has a good consistency that's not too loose. And if it is, just add more breadcrumbs. And there we go. And that's about the right consistency I'm looking for. Not too loose, not too overly stiff. Quick rinse of the hands. And it's all about making your life easier, right? So I'm gonna take a small ball of this mixture and I've got a nice little patty press here. I'm gonna take that and simply place it over the burger and press my burger. And what you end up with is a nice little preformed Turducken burger. Now we're going to do a few more of these. And I can't wait to taste these. Press them. And I use wax paper in between. Another one, and just keep pressing them until you make as many as you want to eat. Now you can also freeze these. And I recommend vacuum sealing them after you chill them off first. So I have some patties made, now it's grilling time. We're gonna cook our turducken burgers for about five to seven minutes per side. These are ready to come off the grill now. My wild turducken burgers are already at 10, but I'm gonna take them to an 11 by adding some of my duck bacon jam and a little bit of my cranberry yogurt sauce. Insanely delicious. I'm New England's wild chef, Bon Appetit. Use the hashtag better outside when you share your videos or photos showing how you connect to life outdoors. And be sure to tag New Hampshire Fishing Game on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. To learn more about life outdoors and New Hampshire Fish and Game, check out these videos and subscribe.